I'm Chi. And I'm Miggy. And we are from winery.ph. Today, we have gathered some of our favorite street foods and we will be pairing them with wine. But why? Why not? Here in winery.ph, we believe that you can actually pair wine with anything and everything under the sun. We love wine, but not the snobbery that goes with it. So today, we are proving just that to you. There is no occasion that's too high or too low for wine, and there's also no food that is too not social for wine. A lot of us have this misconception, right? And if you missed it, we actually already have a basic wine and food pairing video that you can find. Just click the link up here somewhere. And let's get started. Let's get started. What do we have in front of us today? I don't know. <laughs> no, <laughs> to be honest, guys, we just pulled out a bunch of bottles that we thought might work with the street food that we had in mind. So technically, we are doing this for the first time in front of the camera. We have no idea if it's going to work, but I'm crossing my fingers that it will work. I hope. Yeah? Hopefully. Yeah. Um, Cross fingers and toes. Yeah, so. first things first. <laughs> Fish balls. Um, G. Fish balls. Poison. Okay, deep fried, fishy. First course on our one, two, three, four, five, six, six course meal. I will go with the sparkling wine. Mm. Probably the Sauvignon Blanc for me. Uh, typically, goes well with seafood. A lot of seafood flavor in that one. It's very fishy. Yeah. <laughs> okay, the sparkling wine is under 900 pesos. You know, actually a reasonably priced sparkling wine that gives you a similar experience to something more expensive without breaking the bank. I would deem this to be one of the better values in our website. What I would normally do when I do see the wine bearing is I actually take a sip of the wine first. Yeah. So that I can actually appreciate the wine without the food or without the taste of food in it. Ooh, bell pepper. I really like taste ka ako ininom ko. Okay. Okay, um, as expected, very easy light on the palate, a little creamy, a little fizzy. Just a very good palate cleanser, actually. Yeah, the amount of acid the amount of this is very high. My, my, <laughs> Next to I'm salivating very much and um, probably will go well with the, the amount of oil in this deep fried delicacy. Okay, I'm going to take a bite or actually take a mouthful of the fish. Take it the wrong way. I think that's good. Wait. Mmm. Yeah. So good, right? Too much better if you're like fresh off the heart, you know, when it's like hot and crispy. But I'm not going to complain. Yeah, in this case, you treat your wine as your salsawan or as your uh -huh. condiment. I mean, we didn't purposely have sauces here so that you can see how your wine can actually complement the food, much like a salsawan would. This really awakened the amount of fruit flavors in this wine. So initially, the acid was very forward, it was sour, but you kind of it masks the fruit. Um, with this one, it really just awakens all that tropical fruit flavors. Amazing. Yeah, yeah. and I have to say, I'm also proud of my choice. <laughs> no, but really, initially when I drank the, the Printhi um, sparkling wine, I felt the fizz and the acid, but I didn't get as much fruit. But after I took a bite of the fish balls and went back to the wine, it actually brought out all of the green apple, lime, citrus flavors of the wine, which makes the wine a little bit more enjoyable. But with food, it just elevates the wine a little bit. And that's a good wine pairing right there. Yeah. Um, food tastes better. Wine tastes better. You hit the spot. Next on our list. Quite quick. This orange deliciousness <laughs> is actually quail's eggs just dipped in batter with achuete or anato seed. And um, again, very flavorful, very fatty, and because of the protein content and the yolk, it's very high in fat. Yeah. Um, what would your pick be, maybe? Hmm. Deep fried, hoping that the batter is still crispy. I love how sparkling wine feels with a pretty crispy uh, piece of food. So. I'm going with the Pinty Champagne blend. I've done this at home, but not with this particular bottle of rosé. But I think I'm gonna go with the rosé. Rosé has enough body that it actually can take on um, the fatty richness of Quick Quick. But at the same time, it should have the right amount of acidity to cut through the umay that usually is associated with these deep fried street food. I, I poured myself. Yeah? A little too early. No. Oh, they match pa even in color. <laughs> Little salmon. Not as crispy as I would like. They're very creamy. Like the yolk washes over my palate. I need to wash it now. What I chose 
It's Oscar's Rosé. This bottle is like under 650 pesos. Very good levels of acidity, very good food. But it wasn't as noticeable when I first tried it without the food. What the Quick Quick did was it actually brought out red fruit flavors, cherries, strawberries in the rosé that otherwise would have just stayed in the glass if not for the encouragement from the food. So really, that's what good food and wine pairing does. The creaminess of the Quick Quick is actually amplified by the rosé. Um, I really enjoyed that. Let me try mine. Versus tasting it earlier without the food, the, the fruit was there. But now, with the re residual oil, I would say, of a deep fried piece of food like a quick quick, toned down a little. And again, similar with the fish ball and the soft block, it's awakened much more. So, made akin to a champagne, this pretty champagne blend now has nutty, brioche ish flavors to it. Uh, made it really much more interesting. And I'm thinking that. This is a champagne from France now with the, with the, yeah, with the addition of food. Yeah. Quick, quick, huh? I mean, it's elevated it. For me also, um, the rosé just washed off all of the residual fat that was on my tongue when yeah. I actually ate the quick quick. So now, my palate is refreshed and I can go back for more. So, the next one is balut. Miggy, care to explain what balut is to people who do not know? So, balut is something we like to think is indigenous to the Philippines. Um, Pre-developed. The old chick. The old chick yeah. inside that egg, uh, and then instead of letting it hatch, we cook it. <laughs> and then we eat it. Sounds very barbaric. Sometimes with hot sauce. You have to do find a hollow bit. Yeah. You? I? Pay halong egg shares. What did I want? I wanted the karinyan. Let me help you. Thank since you. Since you did a very good job of opening it. Very kind of you. <laughs> I'm going for the karinyan because I think how earthy and gamey the flavors of the karinyan typically is. Okay, so I took a sip of the Riesling, took a bite of the balut, and I'm going back to my Riesling to see how it pairs. Balut, no matter what you say about it, it's egg. And it has a lot of fat, a lot of high protein content. It's also very, very savory. There's a lot of umami and creaminess in it. And the acid in the Riesling cuts very well through it. It actually makes eating balut enjoyable, if you can believe me. <laughs> but it's true. How about you, Migi? Very yeah, It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> very ducky. <laughs> very ducky. So earlier, tasting the, the karinyan, a lot of red fruit. A balut has a sort of like earthy, gamey character to it. Congruent to how I would now taste the wine. There's a lot of earthy and gamey characters coming out in this karinyan. So if you like that type of flavor profile, I'd say you can do balut and karinyan or even a pinot noir if you really like your earthy and gamey characters. Yeah. It works very, very well. So next, we're going to be doing Pinoy style grilled foods. I like both isao and chicken feet, but I go with chicken feet. But what wines will we choose to go with our barbecue? I will go with a karinyan. Um, karinyan is red, but it is not as tannic, so it will actually go well with meats that are not as heavy. So it goes very well with poultry. Okay. Well, I concur about the karinyan, but I'll be going off script. There's a wine in his own stash. Aged Cabernet Sauvignon for grilled foods. Wow. Okay. So karinyan, lots of red fruit flavors, a little bit of spiciness. Very light actually. Now, smoky, slightly sweet, slightly salty, a little bit charred. As expected, it's a good pair. What happens is that the flavors of the chicken feet actually brought out the fruitiness of the karinyan. After biting into the chicken feet and going back to the wine, the wine actually tastes a lot more fruitier, a lot more alive. Again, it makes me want to eat more. It makes me want to drink more. Sign of a good pair. You can see how uh, this isa has a lot of charred bits on it. And for this particular Cabernet Sauvignon, I'd say the profile of this is very masculine. A lot of woody flavors. It's cedar-ish. Cigar box reminds me of varnish which works well with the grilled flavors of an isao. Going again for a easy congruent pairing, I find woody flavors here. I'm not saying all Cabernet Sauvignons will work. 
It's just this particular one has a lot of that woody flavor to it. So if you're going to do the same as I did, probably look for one that's similar to this. We get to the end. So what's the end? <laughs> <Dessert>. <laughs> so we're having to run for dessert. I mean, there is no, I, th I don't think there's any more con quintessential Filipino dessert than turon. I would always um, almost pair it with something that is just as sweet or even sweeter. My wine of choice would be? Finally, we agree on something. <laughs> Are you doing the same? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> um, really, no question. Sweet yeah. food, sweet wine. Uh, yeah. That's probably the most easy wine pairing you could make. Yeah, yeah, that's true. So, let's pour ourselves. Or you pour us. Okay, stop popping. <laughs> <laughs> May cutting fear factor to put sparkling wine. Baka. Yay, thank you, thank you. Grab this now. Okay, go. Go for it. Just in deeper. <laughs> 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 the wine is the best, I have to say. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now we go to the wine. Mmm. You know, we tasted this earlier. Mmm. And we thought it was too sweet, you know. Not a bad thing. It's pairing it with sweet food, that's where sweet wine really comes into a league of its own. Uh, you would not find a flavor profile like this. Apple pie, cinnamon, nutmeg. Sorry. Cooked apples. It's <laughs> a picking of bits of different wine. Yeah. But I agree with me, you know. It's like a totally different wine altogether. Because on its own, it, when we tasted the wine, it was like almost too sweet. But when you introduce something that is just as sweet, what happens is that your perception of sweetness of the wine actually goes down. The acidity level goes up. Then you get a little bit more fruit. You appreciate the wine more. You appreciate the dessert more. And so you eat more. And so if you drink more. Then the cycle. And that is not a bad thing. <laughs> so this is a winner pairing for me. Yeah. What surprised you during the entire experience? You know, I have to say, I did mention earlier, Balut and Karinyan. I thought probably the wine would have gained like um, ammonia-ish characters mm. to it and probably the balut would have been too bland if you pair it with a red wine but balut a bit of sweetness uh, arose when you tasted it, the wine Carignan really it grew more complex and yeah. once you make the food better and the wine better that again uh, I say is a really good pairing. I agree. I thought what surprised me the most was actually the chicken feet and the karinyan as well. Um, the karinyan for me, prior to eating the chicken feet, it was, you know, it was a karinyan. It was uh, lots of red fruits, but not well-defined red fruits. After I took a bite of the chicken feet and I went back to the wine, it actually made the wine come alive. And I think that's one of the best things that you can say about the food and wine pairing when something is made better just by adding another component from either the food or the wine. So as you can see, guys, um, you can actually pair anything with wine, no? Yeah. There is no no food that is too cheap or too expensive to pair with wine. And everything that we paired with our with our food today, with our favorite street foods, are available on winery.ph. Yep. So if you actually want to give it a try, and if you have your own street food and wine pairing recommendations. Experiment yourself. Yeah. And share it with us. Yeah, down in the comments below. Please, please do not forget to do that because we love sharing our own recommendations but we also love hearing from you. So if you liked what you saw today, please do not forget to hit like, leave a subscribe, and as always, well, until the next drink. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> 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 <laughs>